Hey, Dance Fit Crew. I just wanted to reach out and give you guys a few tips when it comes to inches versus weight. And I know a lot of us focus on our weight and the scale and that it's not going down, but like to disapprove or not encourage ourselves when we're losing inches or when we feel like our clothes are fit, fitting us better. So I wanted to just touch on a few things that might make you feel a little bit better on the difference between inches versus weight. All right, so there are three types of ways or people and how they lose weight or how they lose body fat, okay? Oftentimes you'll have the individual who will lose weight rather quickly and you're like, oh my God, how do they lose all that weight, okay? Then you also have the type of person who loses weight slow and steady. They'll probably lose two pounds, two pounds, two pounds, or like half a pound to a pound a week, but they're still losing. It's just slow and steady. And then the last um, type of person who loses weight is the one who is extremely slow, but yet then something drastically happens and they lose like 20 pounds just out of nowhere, okay? So it's important to pay attention to your body and how your body loses weight because if you focus on just the scale, you'll become discouraged and that defeats the purpose of what your goals are. Any change in your body as it going in a positive direction is a good thing. So whether you're losing inches or you're losing weight, either one of them are great because your body is making specific changes towards better. Now, if you realize that none of the three are taking place, let's say you're at six weeks, you haven't lost any weight, you haven't lost any inches, it's not happening slowly, it's not happening quickly, okay? Then we have to reevaluate and go back and look at a few things. What is your focus? What are you working towards? What are you focusing on? All right, then you might want to look at your nutrition. What are you eating? What are you putting into your body? Are you making the best choices of foods, snacks that you're putting into your body, liquids that you're putting into your body? Then you wanna work, focus on now your workouts. Are you using the correct weights? Are you using something that's too light? Maybe something that's too heavy and it's messing up your form, which brings me to the next part. Is your form accurate when you're doing your workouts? Because that's a key thing. You have to have the correct form in order for your body to develop the muscles in those specific areas that you're working on. And then lastly is, are you using the support systems that are set up for you around you? So within our challenges and within my monthly membership, I have the app in order for you guys to communicate with others within the group, communicate with me if you have questions, because it's about you and it's about your progress. So refocus and see, hey, maybe I could reach out to somebody who in the group who has made some progress or who has done something different than I have and we can kind of tag team. So when you're joining the Dance With Mama 5 crew, there's lots of benefits of what come along with your membership. You know, you get that community, you get the opportunity to talk to me and to get feedback and to get support. So as we progress into the October channel, um, not channel, but the October challenge, I would like for you all to consider this and go forth with a positive mindset because we are working towards the same goal of becoming a healthier and fitter self. So we're going to pay attention to how our body decides to lose weight and inches, as well as determine if we need to refocus and readjust and step it up and make better choices for the next time. So this was your girl, Dance Fit Mama 5. Hope to see you in the October challenge and hope to just see you joining me on the journey towards your health and fitness weight loss journey. Peace out.